Hello there, student electricians. There's something I need to point out to you about Lumasi's Puce Clues game. The game was only half made, and that's not very trustworthy, if you know what I mean. They made it so that you have to figure the sequence out on your own without clues of any kind. It gives you one cheap hint, and then it offers you to give up after that. It tells you about the first two numbers establishing a sequence throughout the whole game without an algebraic formula to guide you. It simply discredits you for not knowing the sequence when they didn't give you adequate hints, and that's bad. In other words, the game of Fuse Clues is half defective. I have here a new way to play the game. This one consists of building a sequence with virtually going through a math book and answering some questions to some mathematical equations. This will work to build a sequence along a fuse socket so that you can see an algebraic sequence at the end. Here we'll do it with the traffic signals. What happens in this game is a class from school has decided to spend that day at the park because of the sunny day. When they get to the intersection in which they cross at, they notice that the traffic signal's out. They look to the left and then to the right, and those other signals are functioning. It looks as though the signal at the intersection blew a fuse. This new version of Fuse Clues will be doing that scenario, and when you click on the highlighted intersection, an equation on the demonstration board comes up, and you have to answer the question. We'll start with one related to money. Money is the most important in mathematics because of all it has to offer, and with different financial terms, too. Now we'll do it with distance. Distance explains how far you are from one place to another and the mileage on your vehicle's odometer. Now we'll do it with recipes. Recipes are very important so that you know what to do and how to do it when you bake some wonderful goods. Now we'll do it with electric meters. Electric meters tell you how much electricity is being used when you use something and for other things. Now we'll do it with number theory. Number theory tells you all about arrays, multiplication, division, divisibility, factor pairs, factor strings, prime and composite numbers, number line patterns, square numbers, and unsquaring numbers. Now we'll do it with estimation and computation. Estimation and computation tells you about estimation challenge, adding partial sums, methods for addition, methods for subtraction, addition and subtraction stories, describing chances, a thumbtack experiment, magnitude, spinner experiments, multiplication of whole numbers, multiplication of decimals, solving number stories, lattice practice, dividing by powers of 10 and large numbers such as a million, a billion, a trillion, and so on. Now we'll do it with geometry and exploration and the American tour. That consists of U.S. questions, pattern block angles, acute and obtuse angles, watching television, copying line segments and finding links, types of triangles, copying triangles, completing partial drawings of polygons, regular tessellations, and angles and quadrangles, and pentagons, angles and hexagons, angles and heptagons, practicing expanded notation, and the geometry template. Now we'll do it with division. That consists of mental division strategy, partial quotients, division, algorithm, distances between U.S. cities, finding factors, estimating calculate quotients, interpreting remainders, place value puzzles, and magnitude estimates. Now we'll do it with fractions, decimals, and percents. That consists of parts and wholes, solving fraction problems, using fraction notation for division, fractions on a ruler, comparing and ordering fractions, a fraction stick chart, fraction number stories, making and finding equivalent fractions, math messages, renaming or writing fractions as decimals, rounding decimals, converting decimals to percents, bar graphs and pie charts, reading circle graphs, measuring angles, perimeter and area, concrete recipes, snack surveys, and school days. Now we'll do it with just some supplementary problems. This consists of using data, addition and subtraction of fractions, models for rounding numbers, personal measures, estimation challenge, hand measures, finger measures, mystery plots, reaching and jumping, sampling candy bars, frequency tables, data graphs and plots, climate maps, using benchmarks and estimation to solve problems, fractions as division, clock fractions, number strip fractions, using common denominators, fraction problems and exponents. Then when you answer the last question, the submit button lights up, and when you press it, the circuit closes and the battery fills up this bar, and then the algebraic formula appears on the demonstration board, and all ten of the algebraic equations appear next to it so that you can see that certain algebraic sequence that you went by. This is whether the sequence is trigonometry, geometry, slope intercepts, line graphs, or bar graphs, or pie charts, or just tables of equations. Ten pages of equations is the easiest to work with because there's up to ten digits that make up our number. 
numbers, and we all have ten fingers and ten toes, and ten is the key number in the Sirius metric measuring unit system. After the battery fulfills, you go through another ten pages of equations, and after that, the battery fulfills more. Then you go through another ten pages of equations, and that fills the battery up even more. Ten more, 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 and ten more. When you finish filling up the battery, which in this case takes up to eleven fulfillments, the traffic signal lights will light up to tell you which one got lit up. For every battery fulfillment taking 11 rounds of 10 equations, you light up one traffic signal of 110 pages of mathematics. When you're done, all of the listed traffic signals are lit, and then you go into the selection list of other electricity concepts, and you can pick one. You will not be able to change any of the concepts midway through them. You're not supposed to either. Some features of this new Fuse Clues game are 1. There's no background music in it, and you're free to pick your own from any source you choose. 2. If you answer the given question right, the fuse stays plugged into the socket. 3. If you answer the given question wrong, the fuse will automatically refer back to the table. 4. If you answer the given question wrong twice after the fuse refers back to the table, the correct one will automatically plug itself into the socket. 5. The fuse fill in only goes from left to right, and that means if you plug a fuse into a plug that's not next to the preceding one, it will automatically refer itself to that socket. And 6. In order to turn to the next page, you must answer a mathematical question in front of you, and this means that the turn page button is off and won't turn on until you answer the question. A game like this can easily teach students about electrical grids and people's tests at their workplace work more functionally and possibly teach mathematical concepts all the way up through intermediate college algebra. That would help them be able to succeed in advanced college algebra, pre-calculus, calculus, geometry, home economics, and personal finance concepts.